Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use a tool called BFXR in order to generate character talking sounds, where in previous games, like let's say Phoenix Wright or Banjo-Kazooie, you would have a character that would say something on every character a little bit like this. So I'll basically be showing you how to set that up inside of BFXR and generate your own sound effects. One example I'm kind of working on in my game Please Beneath, uh, would look something like this for dialogue, and then we'll get straight into actually making it. So you can see on every character, it actually tries to talk to you. And you could of course have different sound effects for a different character. And you pretty much get the idea. So before we get started with this tutorial, I wanted to point out to you guys that I have rebooted my Patreon page. And I've created it with tiers now. So if you do want to support this channel, if you do $5 or more per month, you can get access to basically any scripts and assets I release on the channel. So as I make my games, I'm going to be publishing some of the scripts that I will also probably push to the Unity Access Store. But for anybody who's supporting the channel $5 more per month, gets access to those for free. And if you didn't know already, I do create courses on sites like Udemy uh, related to different topics like GIMP, DaVinci Resolve, and of course the Unity Engine. And so if you do $10 or more per month on Patreon, I'll be giving you access to all of my Udemy courses basically all at once. And of course, I'll be updating the Patreon as I create new courses. So anyone who's there will be getting free access to those courses. But if that's not your cup of tea, I'll keep posting videos to YouTube, Steemit, and BitChute as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial anyway. So inside of BFXR, Blip or Select is going to be a really good starting place for the kind of sound we're looking for here. If we hit the button a few times, you'll notice that the sounds it creates are very much short attack time and short sustain time. So in other words, it's going to occur over a fraction of a second. Now what I'm going to do is lower the sustain time down even further. And we can probably actually lock the attack time, the sustain time, the punch, and the decay time so we don't accidentally change them if we hit something like mutation. Because those are pretty much going to be consistent. The length of time we're talking about when we're talking about a character talking sound effect, one that plays on every single character, is something around a 20th of a second. It can be customized to however you want precisely inside of your Unity game. But yeah, I'll just go ahead and lock all of those because that's not something that's really going to need to change. Now up here at the top, choosing the different kind of synthesizer can get you a lot of different sounds. You can see just clicking around, the bass sound that each of these have is quite different. The one I like for these kinds of sound effects, these little blip character talking, is Whistle. I think I was also using a little bit of tan and pink earlier. Um, but once again, you, you can kind of just dive into the tool and futz around for a little bit and try to get your own sounds. So from here, we probably want a lower frequency. I can't imagine that having a really high-pitched sound is going to be great for not pissing off your players. Um, so I'm going to lower that down a bit. Compression, I think I had that kind of on the lower side as well. And whenever you want to play the sound back as if it was actually running in your game's dialogue, you can just hit the play button a bunch of times. And if you do it kind of at the speed that your text is going to play, you can get an idea of how it's actually going to sound. So down here, a lot of the extra stuff like harmonics and fall off, uh, vibrato, depth, and speed. I was basically leaving that at zero. It's not really necessary here. You can obviously tell there is a lot of different sliders to play around with. Bit Crush I actually found was pretty useful. So you can see just with this one slider bar, you can quite significantly change how it actually sounds. So once you get a sound that you like, um, make sure you just test it a bit. And if you still like it, go ahead and export it. Uh, it'll come out as a WAV file and you can put that wherever you want on your computer. So I'll just say tutorial speak here and I'll just put it in my uh, Unity project as well. So it should pop up here if I was to switch over to the Unity tab and it'll be there as a sound effect we can use. One more thing that I'll point out though is that if you do want these little blips to sound a bit more feminine because you have feminine uh, characters, you can kind of adjust that just by moving the frequency over a bit. So you can see if we play it back with the frequency of 0.36 here, 
It sounds a lot more high-pitched by default, which is going to sound closer to a feminine voice. And of course, we're talking about blips here, so it's not really vocals. But men, of course, do have deeper voices than females, so it makes sense. And we can take that and lower it back down if we want to return it to more of a male or something like a robot's voice. Um, anyway, once we have it inside of our project, if you're working in Unity, um, you just have to make it play as an audio clip. Now, uh, for actually getting the dialogue to play back in the way I was showing you guys earlier, uh, that does require some scripting. And I will have some videos on this subject uh, showing off my scripts and probably have the scripts for download as well in the near future. So for right now, though, I will change this audio clip to the tutorial speak. And we'll go back in here and allow the Bernies to talk a little bit with that dialogue. So let's test it out in game. Okay, so now in my current dialogue system, when I walk in here, it's gonna start playing back and you can hear the sound effect playing as the character speaks his lines. So, cool. So that's pretty much all there is to create simple blip sounds to play back on every character while your characters are talking in a more classical style of game, whether that's 8, 16-bit, Phoenix, right? You know, that kind of stuff. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.